The Oracle Output component enables users to output the contents of a table or view from their cloud data warehouse to their Oracle database. Using this component, Matillion ETL can be used to push data to an on-premises server from the cloud. This component can also be used to unload analytics results back into the existing Oracle database, allowing legacy systems to remain in sync with cloud analytics platforms. Say you have a table of transformed data on your cloud data warehouse, but you also need this data replicated on your on-premises data warehouse for reporting purposes. In this example, we'll output a table of sales data from a cloud data warehouse to your Oracle database. To begin, add the component to the canvas of an orchestration job. It can be found on the components panel under orchestration, connectors, unload. Navigate to the properties tab while the component is selected. Here we'll select the source cloud data warehouse table, the target Oracle table, and configure authentication and other properties. We can use the manage database drivers dialog to create, browse, and test JDBC drivers. Please upload a .jar file when creating a new database driver. Then once this is uploaded, you'll be able to select this driver under the driver property. An Oracle endpoint is the point of entry to your Oracle database. This is required to gain access to your database. Then input the name of the database you want to output data to. And enter the username and password of your Oracle database. Your password can be stored in the component, however, we recommend using Matillion's built-in password manager. So credentials can be used across multiple components easily. You can use JDBC options to define connection parameters. The full list of available options can be found on the Oracle documentation site. Collect a schema and then a table currently stored on your cloud data warehouse, which you want to output to your Oracle database. So for our example, the table of sales data from before, which we're outputting to Oracle for reporting purposes. Then we'll need to select the target schema on the Oracle database and the name of the table as it will appear on your Oracle database. Be aware that using the same name as an existing Oracle table may replace the existing table depending on the table maintenance settings. We'll go through these settings shortly. We'll also select the specific columns to be output. For this example, we'll select all columns so that the source cloud table and the target Oracle table are the same. Under table maintenance, we can choose how the Oracle table will be treated. By default, this will be set to none. This will assume that Oracle already has the table defined with the correct structure. If you need to create a new target table, select create if not exists. Or if you'd like to drop the existing table and replace it with a newly created table, select replace. Using replace will drop the existing table with the same name and all of its data. Be sure to check this is the intention before using this option. For this example, the table had already been created earlier, so we'll select replace. We can also define other properties such as table primary key, table truncations, and table copy options, which can be edited to your specific requirements. For this example, a primary key of order number will be selected to match the source table. For the rest of the properties, we'll leave these on the default settings. If they are required for your job, more information can be found on the Help tab or on the Matillion documentation site. Then, once the table has successfully validated, we can run the job by right-clicking on the canvas and selecting Run Job. We can see if the job has run successfully in the task window, which also includes the number of loaded rows. Your data will now be available on your Oracle Data Warehouse. If then you wanted to use the Oracle output to keep the table updated while using the existing table structure, we can change the table maintenance settings to none. With a new row added to our source table, we can run the job again to see the new updated data in the target Oracle table without recreating the table. 
For full information on the Oracle Output Component, please visit the Matillion documentation site.